course, guys, I'm be here, and today I'll be teaching how to make your, I'll just double Skype, how to make your very own, let me just put my Skype on occupied, very own custom Minecraft uh, respawn spec or texture pack or whatever you guys want to call it. So, let um, me put my audio, my audio a bit up. Oh my god, I can't speak. So, what do you guys want to do first? There, there will be one th thing you need. That simple as that. One thing you will need WinRAR. So it's a program or 7-zip is also fine or 1-zip or any of those. One right there. It's free. Uh, you can get it for free. Then you want to get a couple of texture packs that you want to mix. So today we'll be mixing but we'll also be doing some custom stuff. So um, see, here's a couple examples. I already have the ones on my computer. But here's a couple. Faithful is a good one. Shredder's Faithful. This is like edited Faithful. Uh, Redcraft is also a really good one. I really like this one. And Fax PBD Craft is another very good one. So there's just a couple. I'm pretty sure that if you guys just go ahead on Google and search up Minecraft resource resource packs, then the version you want to do it for, um, what was it? For, for, but we'll get that in a second. So resource packs, all oh, so many that you can just get. There's top five. There's just so many you can get. So first two things you want to get it. Um, it is different to make texture packs for 1.6 and 1.7 because the files and everything changes. So first of all, you want to define two things. What kind of are you gonna do it in HD? Alex X32, X128, X100, X500, like the highest, the uh, more HD it will be. But your computer might not be able to handle it, so take that in consideration. So today I'll be doing it for 128. So you guys, when you download the texture pack, I'll obviously have that. So 128 there. Look, this just yeah. This one has really good like descriptions. See, this one only has up to 64, but yeah. So, yeah, that's it. So, today we're only going to be going, like, over the basics of making a pack. We're not actually going to go, like, in too much tons of detail. So, I'm just going to pop up my resource packs folder. It's the same as going to Minecraft resource packs and then just opening the folder, but I don't have my Minecraft open, so we're just going to do that and put my Blue Yeti to the side. So, resource packs. And uh, here's all the list of resource packs I have. So, let me just open my tutorial folder and drag a couple into here. So like that. So okay. So I'm gonna be using this is a couple I made. Some are some I made. I really like this one. So I'm gonna put it in there. Um also I'm using control C, control V. Uh shredders. Um hmm, let's see which ones I can have something from. I will take faithful. Yeah, faithful. And I will get uh, Redcraft 512. So this is just gonna be a mix. It's not actually gonna be like any kind of HD. You can see that one's like the best you can get, the most HD. So we can also, if I can just find the go one, another go one. Mm. Do I already have shredders? No, I do not. Let me just put shredders into there as well because I like that one. And we can get. I think those are all the ones I'm gonna be using for today. Um, yeah, that. Okay. Huawei's. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's a good pack. So basically, you wanna get the, like, the base pack you're gonna do it from. Like, imagine. Um, so you don't have to do the whole thing from the beginning. If you imagine you just wanna, like, you like the base, like, every, like the most stuff, you know, you like, imagine from Faithful. You can do it from. Uh, default faithful, but I'm just gonna copy and paste that. So I'm just gonna name it as um, my custom. Oh, sorry. Um, my custom. Can't type today. Oh my god, custom resource pack. Um, so now you wanna open that up, and you're gonna see like, okay, no one wants to buy you. So most full screen that you're gonna see all these files, and you're gonna be like, what the hell? Now go into sets. Obviously, obviously, right click open with WinRAR. Not that. Um, a set. Minecraft. Minecraft. Then you're gonna have textures. If you don't, just the thingies. That's cool, but textures. And then we're gonna go. So I'm just gonna do, like, from, um, X, uh, that gold rape or whatever his name is. <laughs> Someone gave me this texture back. So, blocks. Um, let's see the kind of blocks. How do they look? I don't actually know. So let's just have a quick look. Some random block. Um, let me get a good one. Sandstone, uh, stone slab. Uh, okay, I do not like the blocks from this one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and and grab the uh and grab the ones from um, Huawei's. 
because I like those better. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna open this like unlike this kind of window like I did before. And then I'm gonna open Huawei's, which is for one point seven. Um, oh crap! And I just opened on my other screen because I do have two screens. So Huawei's on the right. My custom is on the left. Oh my god! I keep on closing them. It's not the easiest thing to level them up, but it's pretty easy. My god, I cannot get it. Like, now? Okay, cool. So, sets, Minecraft, textures, blocks. Where blocks? Okay. How do this blocks look? Yeah, uh, yeah, I really like this blocks. Look. The blocks are really cool. Um, I am lathers, for example. Yeah, I really like this blocks. I'm just gonna have these. So, um,. Go ahead and do this. And paste in all the blocks. Control, by the way, I'm using Control C, Control V to copy paste them. Now, uh, something else I, I like from this um, texture pack, which is the um, stone sword from, um, what is it? From um, Sfax PBD Craft, but I just like it. So, items, not look for stone underscore sword. Iron stone underscore sword. So, so I'm just gonna paste it in there and it's gonna replace it. Okay, so we got that And now we are gonna get the fish rod from Redcraft. So Also, if you guys have any questions about this make sure to comment down below. I love answering comments and All that kind of stuff and I'm nearly I'm nearly at 700 subs. So Redcraft open that up Again, no one wants to buy you um, Okay, there and there so again, uh, set Minecraft textures, um, items. Then we're gonna find fish and wood. Um, fish and wood. We're gonna need to get cast and uncast. Cause if you see, uncast will be like that, and cast will be like that. So it does just doesn't have a line. So, um, control C, or control V. You can just drag it. It won't do any difference. Let me see how the food looks. Uh, is there anything else I want to do for like the food or anything? Um, custom resource pack. Faithful. Let's see. Items. Let me just see the iron tools. Uh, wood tools. I almost certainly don't like these. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and how do the swords look? I don't like this wooden sword either. Shredder's faithful. Minecraft, um, items, item, no, I didn't go in, um, Minecraft, textures, this is what I always do wrong, so, now items, and we're gonna find wooden sword, so we can get that over, control C, now we're gonna go in here and replace the wooden sword, so you can see it is the shredders one, cause it looks better, now what we can do, is do the bow, um, so, but obviously you can do like colors when you when you're pulling back the bow and everything. So I do have a resource pack that I want the bow from. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it again, my resource pack folder. Um, and we're gonna find what texture pack it is because I'm not sure at all, but I know what bow I want. I think it is some Jazz PvP pack. Um, not that. Um, sets, Minecraft textures, items, bow pulling. Did I not get it right? No, I did not. I'm just gonna go ahead and find the texture pack that I want to go from, and I'll be a bit, and I'll be back when I get it. Okay, so I did not find the one I like, but like the most, but I found the one that works fine. So let me get this. It is a faithful bowl, so now I'm gonna go back, close that down, paste it in there. Some horrible PvP pack. Um, a set. This was 4.6, but it doesn't matter on textures that are already 1.6, that are now in 1.7. So we're gonna get bowl pulling. Two, so control over these and then control C. And now we're gonna go in here, control V, and I'm gonna click OK. And yeah, so now we're gonna get over to the custom inventory. So for this, you can either use paint, paint.net, you can use Photoshop. I'm just gonna use Photoshop for this tutorial, seeing as I do have it and it is very useful. So we're gonna go ahead and um, GUI container. And then we're gonna find inventory. So what you want to do is you want to drag it into your desktop, and then you can delete it from here because it doesn't matter. Okay, sorry, I clicked on the title. Delete the inventory file. 
This here is like it has creative inventory, it has everything else. Um, doesn't matter. We're just gonna be doing inventory for now. So now I'm just gonna let me just open my Photoshop. I'll open it and I'll be here. Okay, guys. So I got Photoshop open. Now we're just gonna go ahead and um file open um inventory. Okay, cool. Now we got our inv little inventory here. Um. Uh, you can see there's this little thingies that you can actually see without the zoom, but it doesn't matter. So let's do some text here, because I know I like doing that on all my packs. Let's see if we can fit Agnew VT in there. Okay, let me just, sorry, I need to make it smaller, because it, it isn't actually fitting in there. Okay, cool, it does fit in there now. So I do know kind of what, what I want for this. You guys need to think about what you're going to do, what you actually want to do. Um... That I put two T's. Now I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller. So obviously, if you guys have a lot of zoom like I do right now, it's obviously not gonna look too good. But then when you go out of the zoom, so spada boom BB. Now um, this is something cool I like doing Photoshop. So we got our text there. And actually, we can move it a bit, a bit <laughs> to the center. This is something I always do. This is like my own like little signature. It's um like comic text. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stroke it. Should I do white? Does white look? Oh, no, that looks terrible. That looks terrible. So stroke, stroke it like that, and then size. You can like kind of like play around with that. Obviously not like that, cause that looks terrible. But like in she like that, it does look cool. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. And then drop shadow, and you guys see there's a little shadow under under it. And spread size. Opacity. We don't want that. Okay, that's cool. Uh, no, I don't think that. Yeah. Okay, so guys, so that is Satan. Yeah, it does look cool. So um, yeah. Now we can go out of zoom, and you guys will see how much, how that looks way more HD. Doesn't that does that not look way better? Okay. So um, yeah. For the inventory, this is all we'll be doing. You can do like this for hearts. You can do it for anything you really want to do. So save that. This is a tricky bit. Most people fail it. You need to save it as dub. PNG like an inventory that PNG you cannot put another name otherwise it will not work so save replace now okay we can close on Photoshop no and okay we're good so now we're gonna drag in the inventory in here we got it done now we can just delete it from our from our um, desktop so imagine you want to like put your skin as like the default skin instead of a Steve skin you want to go to entity um, and then you want to find Steve.png. See, that's the Steve skin for this pack. So you can just uh, like put your Steve your skin like file in. You need to rename it as Steve.png so it doesn't like change the name. So that's pretty much it. You can like change the particles. I like these. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, change the particles to purple. No, actually, I won't do that for this tutorial because I don't want it to be too long. It's been um for ten minutes. So guys, um, now we're just gonna I'm just gonna launch up Minecraft, load it up, and see how it um is but first we actually forgetting something so open it up back up um my custom resource pack you want to go um you're going to see a file called pack.mc meta now in this new version of 1.7 uh minecraft it does not allow you to put in colors so uh so pack um description this is what the like the description is going to be called like how faithful says like faithful by sh by another person. Um, so I'm just gonna put it my custom resource pack. So and then the name of the pack is gonna be the file you save it as. Um, yes, save that, save that. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that out here. Launch a Minecraft and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so now I'm gonna open my resource pack folder, minimize that, and drag it in. My custom resource pack. Now I just need to reload it real quick, just to click on and then reload it back up. So, resource packs, and now we're gonna find it. Also, something that I didn't say, uh, as you guys see this file here, it's packed up PNG, it's like the picture of the pack. I'm just gonna leave it as the one it was from the texture pack, it doesn't matter. Just put it in, name it as packed up PNG. So, let's find the texture pack that we made. I have a ton. My custom resource pack, you can see right there. So it should all work fine if it doesn't crash. Hopefully it will not. 
Okay, guys, so I screwed, my, screwed up my recording by going in um, full screen, so I'm just gonna redo it quickly. So, a uh, load of texture packs, you can see the inventory, the swords. I'm just gonna go quickly in creative so I can show you guys. And it's really laggy because I am in tiny screen recording with Camtasia, which kind of lags me. Is it Camtasia? I never know. Uh, how do you know? Not me gusta. Yeah, Camtasia. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm just getting off topic. So, anyways, wooden sword, gold sword, stone sword, iron sword, and diamond sword. So, the wooden sword will be the one from um, from the Shredder's Faithful um, editor thing. The gold sword is the one from this texture pack. Stone sword is the one from Spax, Sfax PVD Craft. Um, the iron sword is the one from the texture pack, and diamond the same. So, armor is from Wrathcraft, you guys can see. Um right there that's all the kinds of armor it's pretty cool i really like that one the box and now let's get into the blocks that's something i got custom from Huawei's pack so um so let me just get a couple so you guys can all can see like all the blocks um i know there's some worlds for download uh like on planet minecraft and stuff where you can has all the blocks so you can texture test your texture pack but that's those are some of the blocks i really like the textures you guys can kind of see they're really cool, and the sandstone, and this was actually one one of my videos, the C the C showcase one. Go check that out if you haven't. Link will be in the description probably. If it's not whatever. So um, here are all the pots. I actually like these a lot. How the pots look, and the po and um, and look at the little particles, the little exclamation marks. Look, you guys can see that. That looks really cool as well. So um, something else I wanted to show. Oh yeah, it's the bow. So, um, what I did, because I really didn't want to have, like, I wanted to have something different that marks my texture pack. You guys can see the balls, like, dark. And then when I start pulling it, it will turn into colors. Look. Dark. Right there, my ball. Look. Then I pull it in its colors, because I then put the default ball as the faithful one. So, um, yeah. But that's cool. Anyways, I like it. Um, I like it a lot. So, um, materials is just, uh, they're just materials. TNT, I really like that, that block as well. That's something really cool. I also like cobwebs a lot. Um, I think they look really cool. So guys, I don't think there is anything else to show. Yeah, there is. Sorry, um, getting off topic, kinda. No, well, not off topic, but just not remember anything. So look at the particles. Um, these are really cool. Apart from the exclamation marks, critical hit. You can see the little smiley faces coming out of the skeleton. I find that really funny and really. Um, I just like them. So if you guys want to download this texture pack, I know it's not the best, but it's decent, I guess. I didn't spend, like, more than 10 minutes on it. So, download link will be down in the description below, so you guys can download it. And, uh, yeah, get the files from here. It's totally okay, as long as you don't pull it to large amounts of people, because Wrathcraft does have copyright, seeing as the armor. But apart from that, um, I think this is all for today, and I will see you all later. Bye!